I actually do think that this is going to be the future of accurate. <laughs> And just here start out by saying, holy crap, like we are 50,000 plus subscribers here on the channel. That is, that is insane. Like that is mind blowing. So thank you so much for being here. Thanks so much for all the support that I'm getting from you. It is totally dope. So yeah, thank you. And if this is your first time watching me, then you might want to consider hitting that subscribe button because you know, that'd be highly appreciated. And so, Thank you for that. It's probably gonna be like down here because that's how YouTube works. Insta360 reached out to me a couple of weeks ago, asked me if I wanted to try out the Insta360 One X, which is totally dope because I haven't had the chance to play around with 360 footage until now. And I gotta say like, it is really, really interesting. It's weird. That's a good, good word for it. Like it's weird but in a good way. So what I really like about this camera is definitely gonna be the design because I think it looks really sleek. It is this like matte finish on here and it is really intuitive to use. Like it's super easy to set up and you can just basically like start it, connect it to your phone and then start the recording or take some photos or whatever you wanna do. Like that is how simple it is to get started using the Insta360 ONE X. Let's go. Like it has a built-in software that actually hides the camera when you're holding it in your hand or like when you're putting it on selfie stick, the selfie stick totally disappears. So it looks like the camera is floating and that you're not holding anything in your hand. It's like, it's super weird, but it looks really, really cool. So I got two different selfie sticks from Insta360 and this, it's basically like just a regular selfie stick, like one and a half meter long or something like that. But the second one that I got, like this, this is just ridiculous. Imagine yourself like being in a tourist location and you're like, all right, just gonna get the camera here. Watch out. I'm gonna record over there, huh? I guess it's a really good like spy thing where you can like spy on your next door neighbor just pointing the camera out the window like that. I also got this handle, which is basically like just a small tripod that you can put your camera on, but this part also spins around and you can lock it if you do it like that. And this handle is apparently like the feature that will give you the bullet time effect with the camera. We're gonna need a lot of space for this. This is probably gonna be the most risky place to do it. There's like water all around us, but uh, let's see how it looks. I think it's gonna look cool. So I did use this camera when I was shooting the last behind the scenes video that I dropped here on YouTube. And I was actually planning on using way more footage from this. Like I was expecting the footage of this camera to like be like straight up imported into Final Cut Pro and then you can start editing there like shows, shows, shoes, the different kind of like uh, shot that you wanna have. Before you can actually open the files within Final Cut Pro, you had to download Insta360 Studio to be able to open the raw files from the camera. And from there, you can do it in two different ways. Either you can like export the whole flat 
360 file and then open that in Final Cut Pro, or you can do all of the keyframing within the Insta360 Studio and then export that, the finished like video to your project and then just use that in your project. Personally, I do not like that it gives you like this extra step that you have to do before you can actually like incorporate the footage into your project. But then again, you can choose any kind of angle that you want to have into your video. So you do get a couple of different modes in the camera that you can use when you're using the app or you can just set it on the camera itself, such as the uh, interval shooting if you want to do that in photo mode and the HDR mode, which stands for high dynamic range. And you can also do the time lapse in video mode if you want to do the, that instead. And then you can shoot in a couple of different frame rates depending on where you are in the world. For example, you can shoot in 25 frames per second or 24 frames per second or 100 frames in full HD. So the box does say that the camera has 5.7K 360 video, which is entirely true if you like lay out the whole 360 video totally flat on a new product. When you crop in on a specific part of the image, it actually like lowers the resolution to 1080p. So even though it says 5.7K, it's not actually that when you crop in on the image. It is not waterproof, which I would have loved, because if it were, then this would definitely be a GoPro killer. I don't know about you, but like, I remember when I bought my first GoPro, it was the GoPro Hero 6. And I thought like, man, I'm gonna use this for this and that and this and that, and for all the different kind of shoots that I can come up with. But then when I bought it, I basically only used it on two trips. And ever since it has been lying around in my camera bag. But when it comes to this camera, I definitely see me using this way more than a GoPro. And the reason for that is because you can just hold the camera out like this and then you will get a 360 view of everything that is going on around you. And that is something that I think is really, really cool and really, really intuitive. So the image quality in this camera is definitely like okay, but as soon as you get into like a little bit lower lighting situations, then it's not gonna be a good image for your videos. But if you have like bright sunlight, uh, really well lit place, then it's gonna be really, really good and really fun to use that footage into your project. Ow! We got some battle wounds from the ultra long selfie stick. This is just so ridiculously long and broken. So the biggest downside with this camera so far is definitely gonna be that the charging port is open and the memory card slot down here as well. So if you get any kind of moist or water droplets or anything like that into the camera, it will probably break. And that's not good if you take it like going skiing and then you fall and the camera falls off into the snow or something like that. I also think that the whole process of opening that footage in Insta360 Studio and then exporting the footage from there into Final Cut Pro and then edit it in Final Cut Pro is a little bit tedious. So that is probably gonna be like the biggest hurdle for me to use in my YouTube videos because I wanna have a fast production. I basically just wanna like take the memory card off the camera, plug it in my computer, start editing straight off. And that is something that I cannot do with this camera. Who would I recommend this camera for then? Well, I gotta say like anyone that is thinking about buying a GoPro, but wants to have something that is way more intuitive and fun to use. I'm definitely seeing myself using this camera instead of my GoPro whenever I'm going on a trip because this is gonna give me so much more options to pick the right angle when I'm getting into the post-production, which is really, really cool. And like, I do know the GoPro release, the GoPro Max. I haven't tried that out, but I think it looks really good as well and it's also like a 360 camera this will not replace any of the cameras that i have in my camera bag because like when you compare the image quality with this camera towards this then there's like there's no comparison so as a professional videographer i would not use this in any of my projects because the image quality is not just that good just yet but when it comes to like youtube videos and other stuff like that this is definitely a camera that i will have a lot of fun with so again i really do think that this is going to be the future of action cameras 
I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please do hit that subscribe button because it's gonna be like a call out right here saying that you gotta push that push that button uh, if you liked the video please do give it a thumbs up because it does help a lot so thanks so much for that and <sighs> yeah um, so uh, oh hi until next time <laughs>